you know, we missed Avante, obviously. You know, he's a big factor for us down there. But, you know, we still got to answer. You know, we've, um, we'll get, you know, we're, we got great guys. We'll fix all that. I'm not worried about that. A lot of discussion, and you heard some grumbling in the crowd of the mm -hmm. running place in the red zone, first and second down. What were your thoughts as you were calling the place? Well, we have, you know, we're, we've got to keep balancing our offense, and we got to protect, you know, we've got to protect Teddy, and, you know, there's a lot of things, that, you know, going on there other than that, you know, so I, I don't ever get caught up in that kind of stuff. Did the you know, I got a job to do, and I know what my job is, and we do it. Did the offense become too accustomed to just throwing the ball to Devontae and making him play? Uh, you know, he's he's a big factor for us down there. I mean, he's huge. Now, if you think about what he does and, you know, what he brings to the table, I mean, he he's a guy that can elevate and he can go play in the edges of the end zone and make big plays. So, you know, he's we miss him, yeah. But, you know, that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. we still got to do our job down there. When you told him he was going to play, mm -hmm. what was his reaction to that? But when he's told he wasn't going yeah. to, well, he pretty much knew. You know, I, you know, he wasn't full go. I mean, he's he's gotten a lot better. Uh, you know, we just don't want to jeopardize him for the long haul. You know, we can't. Uh, we've got a whole season to play. Uh, you know, ahead of us, I and mean, there's a lot of ball left. So we 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 don't want to put him. You know, lay him out there when he's not full full go. Things that you probably think about as the game goes along, but mm -hmm. the balance between wanting to be. Um, balanced running pass mm -hmm. versus what seemed to be working mm -hmm. more effectively than the passing game versus the run. Well, you know, we in order to you've got to take a lot. You got to take pressure off of your quarterback by being able to run the ball. You know, it's not you can't go into a game and just sling it all over the lot. You know, because then it be, you become very predictable and you ask for defenses that you know you don't want to put that kid in. Part of his success, part of our success, in moving the ball down the field is our balance. And, uh, you know, we'll always be that way. Is there any times in the game where you feel like maybe a, a shot in the arm, up tempo, or go no huddle just to see if you can get you something know, going? Not, not really. I mean, we moved the ball pretty efficiently. You know, I think we had one time we were three and out, and that was about it. Um, so, you know, that, that, was, that was never consideration because, you know, we do it as a team, and, you know, we're all involved in it together. Our defense is playing really well, and uh, we didn't feel like that was something that we needed to do. You know, Charlie captains all that, so. You've seen Teddy mm -hmm. all the time, games, practices. How would you right. grade his performance tonight? He missed a couple of throws. Yeah, he, he missed a couple of throws. Um, I think he got really anxious on the one that was, you know, pretty open there in the uh, red zone. Um, you know, that's, that's one that you got to just settle yourself and make the throw. But he overall, I thought he played a great game. I mean, he extended plays, made plays with his feet, uh, did a really nice job. I mean, we win because of him. If, if Kai or... Devontae mm -hmm. can't play next Friday. Is James quick ready to step in? Yeah, James has had a great week of practice this past week, and you know he got a lot of time tonight. And he's a guy that we have a lot of trust and faith in. I mean, he's earned it too. You know, we we don't give things away around here. They have to earn their time, and James uh, James has done that. We're really proud of. I'm really personally proud of what you know what he's become here in the last few weeks. He's had two really good weeks of practice, and you know we just keep uh, you know developing him. And he's had a room that's really competitive, you know. And now when a guy goes down, you know those guys got to step up, and he's done that. So it's a, you know, it's a, you know, I think a real shot in our arm for him and his growth and his development. Where do you think Michael Dyer is right now? Uh, you know, Mike is, uh, you know, Mike has uh, gotten a lot better. You know, he has, uh, you know, I think he's more sound uh, in our protections than he's ever been. You know, he's getting the whole picture now. Um, you know, and it's about you know it, it's about the time that he should. It's you know the process of you know learning everything and getting it you know mastered. Um, it takes a little time, you know, because every week you see different you know different defenses. So there's adjustments that go along with that learning curve. And I felt like for the last three weeks he's really, you know, he's getting it. He's really getting it, and uh, you know he's uh, he's been pretty assignment sound for us. Are you amazed at where Sonoris is? Yeah, Sonoris is, that whole room is, is very, very competitive. So what happens is, uh, you know, everybody ante's up. I mean, you got a lot of competition in that room. And, uh, you know, when that happens, uh, you know, you find out, you know, who, you know, like Sonoris doesn't want to come off the field now. He's, uh, he's one of those guys who has got a lot of pride in, in his work. And, you know, he's, uh, I thought he had a really nice game today. Yeah, Phil, a nice job. Philly talked about early in the week about maybe a showcase opportunity on a Thursday night national televised game. Mm -hmm. From a team standpoint, do you think you guys answered an opportunity or? Uh, you know, we uh, 
you know, I, I think in these kind of games, especially against Rutgers, it's such a good rivalry between the two, and it's always a physical, hard-fought game between both teams. Uh, when you put two good teams out like that, there's a lot of give and take. I mean, there's a lot of battling going on. And especially, you know, with the two styles of defenses and the two styles of offenses are, you know, we're going to slug it out with each other. So, uh, you know, it was, uh, I think it was, you know, you know, I'm in the emotion, I'm in working, I'm not in, you know, that part of the game, so I can't tell you what a fan would thought. But we, uh, you know, I, it was what we expected it to be. We told kids all week long it was going to be that kind of game. It's going to be a kind of game where it's going to be a hard-fought game. You know, there's going to be plays on both sides, and you got to ride the flow. Guys said that they felt like, They've left a lot on their offensively, left a lot of points on the field. They did, yeah. What, what, mm -hmm. what, would, what would your reaction be to whether it's media or fans? I read you know, some stuff on Twitter right. during the game that's, that's uh, they, especially in the red zone, mm -hmm. they felt the play calling was conservative when you got a guy like Teddy. Well, you know, again, you have to, I answered that a while ago, you have to be balanced down there. You, you know, if you are all the time throwing, it's a blitz fest. And then, you know, Teddy, it doesn't play to Teddy, it doesn't help Teddy out down there. And in order for Teddy to be efficient down there, in other words, us efficient down there, you got to have balance in what you're in your work. Uh, otherwise, if you're one-dimensional, you're asking for problems. Did not having Devontae change any of that? It always, yeah. Stuff? You know, you think you, you know, you, you guys have seen it. You know the answer to that. For if you're asking the question, absolutely. You know, he's the kind of guy that's, uh, you know, he's an impact player down there in the red zone. And uh, it does, it, 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 it does, but you know, then you know, those are the becomes built in excuses, and we're not, we, that's not who we are, that's not how we work around here. So, we, you know, we've got to have other guys step up, and you know, we'll, we'll develop those guys, and we'll be just fine. Sean, yeah. we saw Teddy tucking around a few times. Was that just coverage right. downfield, or what was going on? No, he, uh, it's just opportunities yeah. that you know, the that they're, uh, you know, uh, their blitz package, uh, all those were, you know, opportunities that their blitz created for us. You know, our, our kids up front did a, a really nice job of picking up their blitzes, um, you know, from overall, you know, because they, they blitz almost, uh, you know, I would say I can't give you a percentage because I don't have it, but just about, you know, probably in the 85, 90% range. So um, those are, you know, uh, his ability to extend plays. I mean, he is, he's done it. He does a great job. Um, you know, if, uh, manipulating the protection, getting outside it, breaking contain, and when you break contain, now he can run, he can hurt you, and uh, then he can scramble throw too. So he can really extend plays. Now, so you had quite a bit of a, a shuffle on the offensive line. Can you rate those guys? How, how are the new guys fitting in? Uh, they're fitting in well. You know, we've had uh, we've had a lot of adjustments going on there. You know, we've had to play. You know, Nachos had to play guard and center. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had a guy down here or there, but it's just the course of what happens during the season. I think one of the one of the things, one of the hallmarks of uh, you know a good staff, or, you know, a great program, is being able to adjust and try cross train, especially at that position, so that you can, you know, you, you can stay efficient. And David uh, Borbley has done a, a great job of that. And you know, the kids have, you know, like Nachos had to play both guard and tackle. Cam's had to play both uh, guard, center, and guard on the other side. Um, you know, Jake has been trained, uh, cross-trained as a, a guard, and you know he's even cross-trained a little bit at tackle. So that if we ever get in, a, uh, you know, a situation, we can always put our best five out there. And so, to answer your question, I think those guys, uh, you know, that continuity is always very, very important. Um, and, and you know, even sliding in guys, you know, Cam worked back out there this week and. Uh, you know, pretty efficient. I thought he played a pretty efficient game. Now tomorrow I'll be able to tell you more because I'll have a chance to have seen it. All right, guys.